transformations you are with Tunisia Ali and I am here to help you to get clear to gain clarity over your life to up level your mindset to clear and heal energetic blockages so that you can express the glory of God that is you that is within you welcome to the channel welcome to the channel welcome to the channel I am here today to do your daily healing inspiration and we're gonna dig in we're gonna look at whatever comes up beautiful gang gang and i feel like we're going to do nine cards and we're just going to look at a storyline all right and we're going to go from there i will also pull in some oracle messages so this looks like something that you are interested in sitting around for don't forget to like the video give it a thumbs up and show your love show your love show your love if you have not purchased my book manifesting your masterpiece and you're in the business of manifesting your masterpiece or you want a larger slice of life, or maybe you want to get clear on what's holding you back, or you need some extra support on your spiritual journey, or your journey to your best self, make sure you get a copy of that book for the many, 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 many of you that have purchased that book. My love and my gratitude go out to you. Please, if you found value in the book, revisit Amazon to do your review. Okay, y'all, let's take a moment to take that deep breath in. Remember that these are general messages. So your goal is to listen out for something that resonates in your heart. All of the messages in here may not be for you, but it is important for you to understand that there's likely something that you can resonate with in the message. If you happen to stumble upon this message, that may be for you, that may be here to enrich your life in some way, okay? The cars always fall the way they're supposed to because there's not a leaf that falls from the tree without the permission of its creator. All right, let's take a look. Ooh. So far, y'all, Ten of Cups, King of Swords, Ace of Wands. Okay, that I felt was the middle row. All right. Ooh. Dang, y'all. Emperor, Queen of Pentacles sitting up here in front of on top of the King of Swords, and we have the Four of Wands. All right? My God, what the hell is going on with y'all? Dang! What, what's going on? I got to show you what these beautiful cards look like. At the bottom of the deck, we've got the Page of Cups. Wow, this is a powerful reading. I hope you all are resonating with this because this is looking pretty delayed. Quite a bit of happening here, okay? So here's our main read. We have this below it and we have this above it. We're looking for patterns, okay? A lot of stuff going on here, all right? And intuition is at work. Fundamentally, I'm going to tell you, you have some powerful energies going on in your life right now, all right? There's a lot happening here. And all of this is looking like something is entering your life, whether it's a new job, Something else to stabilize you, an opportunity that someone is bringing into your life for a partnership. Uh, we're looking at here a almost like a genesis of something or a renewal of something that is coming into your life that is um, that you're attracting into your life as an opening. At the base of the read here, we have the Page of Cups. So this may be an offer. Technically, pages are messengers. They bring in things that oftentimes have to do with emotional fulfillment. They can represent beginnings or small starts in a positive direction. They may be fertilizers. They may relate to something that is beginning to blossom at a very uh, entry level kind of a way. Um, it can be uh, some sort of emotional opening, something that is giving you some level of gratification and fulfillment or bringing in some new sense of hopefulness, some positive sentiment. All right. 
Now, it could be something that you're thinking about with regard to what is happening here. You may have some doubts, you may have some fears, or this could be some real intense desire going on as it relates to the relationship because whatever this relationship is, it's feeling like something that you feel like you're head over heels about, you want to celebrate, but you could be having some type of apprehension about something with this devil and this moon here. You could be feeling as though there's something that you may not be seeing, or perhaps you could be looking at something in a way um, or through a lens uh, that is being filtered by some past experience or some fear or something that you don't quite understand. There's something about the offer that you could be suspect about here with this devil and this moon, but we're, we're, we're doing an overall at this point. We have the emperor, the queen of pentacles, and the four of wands here. So we have a strong energy or someone probably trying to take charge of a situation to engineer it towards a certain end uh, because this person or this situation, whether it's a situation with uh, a sibling, a situation with a lover, a situation uh, in the workplace, someone is seeing that you are a perfect fit for them. And they're wanting to begin anew or take something to a particular level with you in a positive direction because of what you are bringing to the table. Someone is seeing you as very valuable and is offering you a coin. Okay, this person is offering you an opportunity. That opportunity could be a job. It could be a proposal. It could be saying, come ye here, come hither, come to me. Um, I am interested in you. I'm looking at you from a place of wanting some sort of commitment wanting to take this to a new level. This person is thinking long and hard about how to offer you something here with this King of Swords. This is something that they are meditating on, something that is getting them excited. Now, you can switch the energies here. This could be coming from you to someone else. You could be the one looking to offer someone something and taking charge of a situation because you see a particular opportunity and you want to manifest that opportunity. Let's say that this is a business deal that you're seeing something that to you looks very right. It looks like it has the potential to go the distance. It looks like it meets all of your criteria and checks off all of your boxes, all right? And so at this point, you could be strategizing on how best to go forward in this situation because you want to capitalize off of this spark or something that is more recently being ignited, all right? But if this is the other person, then this is the energy that we're talking about that relates to what is happening with that particular situation, okay? So this is very interesting here because we have the Queen of Pentacles. Now, the Queen of Pentacles is a wonderful all-around queen. I would say she has the best of the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Wands, and the Queen of Swords. She's very practical. She's powerful within her own right. She has the ability to be very well-rounded and holistic in her approach. She's not only practical, she's very loving. She can be passionate. She's very prosperous and she's very attuned to her needs and the needs of those people around her. Someone is seeing the value of that nurturing energy and they are wanting to come in and show you that they see a value in some sort of perhaps partnership with you, some sort of liaison with you. Now, for those of you who can't relate to that at all, what you're looking at here is your ability to pursue an opportunity and take charge of a situation related to business or career that's gonna be very fruitful for you. That's gonna give you something to celebrate. This could be a promotion. Lovely Albie, hold on one second, please. What is she? Give me a second, please. Just, just be patient. No, you better not be out there by that door. Oh, let's see. Okay. That's my girl from FedEx. Okay, y'all. So here's, here's what we're saying. So this is a business opportunity. Let's say this has something to do with business. Then this is you taking a look at a long-range potential opportunity that looks very promising. And you believe that you may have all of the ingredients in order to make it happen. You may be creating something that you feel 
is going to put you in a strong position and allow you to level up or boss up in a particular area. All right. Whatever this is related to, Albie, I'm working. I'm working. Thank you. But the Four of Wands is about celebrating something. It's about taking something to the next level. This is a card that helps you to see into uh, a situation that may be profitable, that may be worth celebrating, something that you vibrate with. Um, this is a card of wanting to go to distance with something and having a certain belief in something, following your passions and having some sort of outcome as a result. So this is very positive looking, all right? Now, in this next level here, we have the Ten of Cups, the King of Swords, and the Ace of Wands. Okay, someone has spotted uh, something that they feel is going to give them emotional fulfillment and joy. With that King of Swords sitting there in the middle, in its highest um, positive aspect, you're talking about the energy of sitting back, doing some, ser some serious thinking about something, but in some way being reserved. This is someone who is very calculating. Calculating not in a negative way necessarily, but they're sitting back there thinking. They're making mental maneuvers. They're looking at the potential, the promising potential of a situation. And they're trying to strategize about how to bring this into their life. Now, because of the line that we're looking at with the Queen of Pentacles, the King of Swords, and the Devil, this person could be doing a lot of thinking. We can clarify this card, but we could be looking at perhaps someone who is really intense in their desire for something or they feel almost obsessed by something if this this masculine energy up here and this can go either way remember we're talking about energies here is thinking about how best to communicate or put forth an offer or to help you to see how they feel about the um potential of a situation to re reach a high level of fruition and fulfillment this person may be thinking a lot, thinking a lot. They could be hooked on you, okay? Um, the devil energy is, is, as you know, can be about limitations and belief. It can be about someone going overboard or to the extreme with regard to how they feel about something. It could be uh, a controlling kind of energy. There's a lot of positive energy here. We're going to look up and see what this moon card represents. But because of this energy for the time being, let's say that the person has some sort of fixation on whatever it is that they feel is a potential in this particular opportunity. And they're trying to figure out a way to bring about an opening or to bring about some sort of, I want to say, congealment of an offer or an opportunity. The wands are about sparks, something igniting, feeling a divine inspiration, wanting some sort of new beginning or a new beginning or an opportunity to pursue a passion be, being dropped in your lap. The aces talk about doorways that are open for fulfillment in various areas. Here we have the ace of pentacles. This is someone who may be wanting to offer you a job or offer you a commitment in a relationship or to propose something to you, to put something before you because they want to start something or they see a, um, a future and they want to get on track with that future and this is a lot of strong strong energy down here on this table and so if this is you uh in business let's say for example or something related to career then this this is you also seeing the value in something and perhaps wanting to pursue something and take something to another level. So you are definitely clearly not alone here because we got some positive stuff. But remember the emperor and the king, the king of swords can be a sort of energy of holding back. So this could be someone in your life who could be thinking, thinking, thinking about you, calculating, 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 but be at a point to where they're not carrying their emotions on their shoulder at this point. They're in an energy right now of thinking and trying to figure out how they can take a situation uh, uh, under wing and take charge of something to move it in another direction. They're thinking about how best to make that proposal, but they're doing this really from a place of strength. All right. And the reason why I say that is because they may not be doing a lot of talking now or sharing all of their emotions. Currently they're in that, that kind of reserved energy 
the emperor and the king of swords can oftentimes, while they can be uh, father uh, archetypal energies, leadership archetypal energies, and they can be very involved at different levels with the situation, they can also be very reserved. Right? These are people who are generally not trying to allow their emotions to get the best of them, okay? Let's clarify that King of Swords, please. Let's clarify the King of Swords. This could be you have an eye to a particular opportunity and be trying to figure out. Now, here we have the Four of Cups kind of sideways. This is someone who doesn't want to miss out on an opportunity. There could be something around the opportunity that is a bit troubling. Whatever it is, they are tinking, tinking, tinking. They are thinking, thinking, thinking. What is this devil? Let's clarify this devil energy here. Why is the devil energy here? This is you potentially not wanting to miss out on a situation. And we have the magician card clarifying the devil. This is someone that's trying to manifest something and they are consumed by uh, how best to accomplish that objective. Uh, that can really translate to someone who is very intentional about every move that they make. They believe that they possess everything that they need to possess in order to get what they want. But they are maybe in a space of figuring out how best to do that or what kind of package to put together in a particular situation. Clarify again the devil and the magician, please. This is something that does not escape them. They are, I feel, somehow consumed with this. If this is you, then you could be consumed with trying to get someone to notice you or trying to get someone to realize your value or trying to figure out how you can best move forward with coming into union with something, whether it be a work project, whether it be a person uh, or a situation, all right? Clarify, please. Why is that devil and the magician here? We have the Six of Swords here. Now, sometimes the Six of Swords is about moving out of troubled waters or moving away from a difficult situation, which clearly means you're moving towards something. So this person could be thinking about moving. They could be thinking about moving in with you. Oftentimes, though, too, the Six of Swords can be about feeling divinely called to do something, feeling divinely called to go into a particular direction. I'm going to clarify that Six of Swords. And we're going to um, go a little bit further with that. But this is something whereby maybe even somebody is kind of watching you or they're watching a situation because they want to be able to steer it um, to an outcome that allows them to realize whatever it is that happens to be uh, a priority for them at this particular time. What is that Six of Swords here for? Okay. This again, like we talk about the Six of Swords, Swords are, are mental conflict and mental energy. But the Six is, ha has an energy of moving. So, you know, sometimes that could, for some of you, it could be traveling. All right. So we have... Here we have the Wheel of Fortune, the Ten of Swords Reverse. What it feels like here is somebody may be trying to resurrect something. Okay, they may have a strong belief that they want to that they want to um, take things in a different direction. Someone is feeling and seeing a very very strong potential in a situation that in the past may potentially have had, had some sort of hidden obstacles to it or some things that made it a difficult situation to navigate. And they want to go back and revisit something and they feel so strongly about it. It's possible that they want to make sure that something does not fail this time here with the Ten of Pinnacle, the Ten of Swords reverse and the Wheel of Fortune here. So this person I feel is really trying to bring balance to a situation or some sense of calm and some sense of mental integrity to a situation so that they can get it to go in a particular direction and come out with a strong opening here. Why is the moon here? Now, as you know, the moon card can be related to intuition. It can be related to the things that we suppress. It can also be related to things that you are not seeing or things that are unseen in a situation. Let's say that there's something about this offer or this situation 
that has the potential to be a bit imbalanced here because we do have some strong cards here with that devil card. Let's say there's a super strong fixation or desire on something. Perhaps this is something that you're not seeing. Why is the moon here? Why if I this moon? Let's get one more card. We have two moons, y'all. What the hell? And then we have the judgment. I don't know why I'm hearing and feeling something perhaps to do with the eclipse. At the bottom of this, we have the King of Pentacles, okay? So this may be something that comes to fruition over the next couple of weeks. You know, we have some major um, things going on here with eclipses, um, which have to do with things being overshadowed, things coming to the light, releasing certain things. With the judgment card here, we're talking about decisions, decisions of, of great magnitude. I want to get another clarifying card here for that. As I mentioned, at the bottom of the deck, we have this uh, King of Pentacles here. And the King of Pentacles is another stabilizing uh, situation here. Now, for those of you who this may relate to with business, there may be some un un unforeseen decisions, major decisions that you're going to have to make in terms of which direction to take something in. You may be weighing several different options right now and thinking about some things. You don't want to be lured by greed. You want to make sure that you uh, are able to assess the terrain and look at things from all varying point of view so that you are not feeling ambushed or you don't miss a particular detail. Something here feels like it's very important, okay? So for those of you who may be, uh, I'm feeling, let's say you're on a job and you're, you're, you're looking at a particular um, offer for a promotion. Um, make sure that you don't get so tempted by all of the glam and glitter that because someone is trying to offer you something because they see value in you that you don't take a look at what could be hidden okay which what th those things that have a higher consequence to them why is the judgment here we have the queen of wands reversed hmm Either someone could be not feeling that something is on the up and up, or they could be doubting something here, all right? And for some of you, this is feeling like, because we have the King of Pentacles again reversed, we have the Knight of Wands reversed, and the Queen of, Queen of Wands reversed. So for some of you, this is, this is a message that may be here for even just one person. Something specific that's coming to me is you could be questioning whether or not you are in a place where you can safely move forward with something because there's something hidden that you are not sure about. For some of you specifically, it could be whether or not the person you are dealing with is dealing with someone else or whether or not the person that you are dealing with has actually cut out their dealings with someone else here with this Knight of Wands reverse, King of Pentacles reverse, and the Queen of wands here reverse. This is something that you want to pay uh, particular attention to. Clarify this second moon card here. The Hierophant we're dealing with is a marriage situation or some situation that involves spiritual commitment or a higher level of commitment or some type of ramifications around social conventions. All right. So you may be dealing with someone. Some of you could be dealing with someone that's actually in a commitment. Six of Pentacles reverse. This is what this is kind of feeling like. Uh, wondering if someone may still be giving to a previous situation or somehow there's an entanglement here around something that you are needing to consider um, and someone who is really wanting something to move forward, if not both people, but on the table is something that is contractual or something that involves a serious commitment. And you may be the other person in that commitment or you may be wondering about the other person on the other side of that. And this is something that you're needing to really pay attention to moving forward. With that Six of Pentacles reverse here, you could be ambivalent about whether or not to accept a particular offer or whether or not a person is free and available in order to offer something. For some of you, you could be concerned about the legality 
around contractual obligations and whether or not there's something you're missing out on with regard to a job situation, whatever this may be pertaining to, it's important to have clear communication around something because there is someone who is very much trying to get something that they want. And as such, if you are that person, then you want to be mindful of perhaps clearly communicating whatever it is that needs to be communicated. If you are the other person on the receiving end of this, you want to be sure that you understand all motives that are involved and everything is out on the table and that you're able to see everything that needs to be seen and that there is communication that's coming in or communication that's happening between two people that is uh, transparent, that's fair, that is very... Um, has 360 degrees uh, worth of viewing around it, meaning you want to be able to go deep. You want to trust the situation because with that moon card here twice, there is some fear or there is some type of reservation around a very profound decision that needs to be made relating to some other energies that feel like it could possibly exist outside of the current dynamic that could be happening full on or face on between two people, okay? Let's look at the advice moving forward, okay? This is a, a beautiful read here in terms of the positive energy here and a sense of commitment around something. But there are some gray areas, it looks like, regardless of what this is speaking to, whether it is a business situation, something happening on the job, or something happening between people. There is a possibility to level up in a particular area or situation of someone's life, but you're going to be needing to take a roundabout look so that you can see everything that's on the table. What is the advice moving forward for the queer or whoever is looking at this video at this time? What is the advice moving forward? There's a lot of passion here on the table. There's a lot of... Um, practicality for building or an ability to see the benefit of building. There's a lot of emotional energy that's going into something. But like I said, it feels more like uh, a heavy concentration of trying to keep a straight face while you're very excited about something because you're not sure what may lie beneath the surface. And you definitely don't want to see something collapse or fail. So someone could be tiptoeing around something. All right. With that wheel of fortune here, someone could be trying to make sure that a karmic cycle has closed down. All right. What is the advice moving forward? What is the advice moving forward? We have four cards. My goodness. Okay, y'all. We have the Ten of Wands reversed. The, no, the Ten of Wands reversed. We have the Four of Swords reversed here. We have the Four of Wands and the Three of Cups next. All right. And at the bottom, we have the Hanged Man reversed here. So this is telling me perhaps there's been an inability to communicate clearly around something or to address something head on. Um, things could have slowed down or things could be sort of in a, uh, a space of suspension or on pause in some way. In other words, postponed or not really having been moving forward. Or perhaps that this is saying that something does not need to move forward fully until everything is out on the table and there's been a meeting of the minds here and there's been a sort of agreement, uh, a harmony, um, uh, some sort of, because the Three of Cups is about harmony, it's about um, meeting of the minds, it's about getting along, it's about vibing, it's also about celebration. The Four of Wands is also a celebration card based on achieving, some achieving achievement of a particular goal to get uh, into a space where there's a greater degree of uh, investment in something or hands-on um, commitment, uh, a higher level of commitment. Uh, but it, it does give us a sense and a reason to celebrate something here. So this is a very good outcome. But as you move to that outcome, it looks like whatever, if there's been someone who has not wanted to address something that has felt burdensome and they're carrying a load, I feel like 
want to clarify that Ten of Wands reverse, that it's important to get all of those um, things out on the table. Because the Ten of Wands is reversed, if somebody is wanting to maybe having a hard time bringing a burden or something that's been difficult to the surface and dealing with it, or they have reservation about something and they're still carrying a load, okay? It may be something they're not necessarily wanting to see or they're taking some type of respite or vacation from. It's time to come out of that space, in other words, and to recognize that whatever it is that you're seeing is something that you need to confront and deal with by way of communication and more likely you'll be in that four of wands energy. So you're trying to reconcile a situation, you're trying to approach something with harmony, and you're trying to really, it seems like, see the, yeah, here we have the um, five of uh, swords reverse and the seven of pentacles here. Um, it's almost as if not run away and defeat about something that has some long-term potential to it, perhaps. Now, again, this, this is a message for particular folks. You have to apply those messages in the way that they make sense. Timing is also important. Why is the Ten of Wands here? I'm not sure. No, we have the Six of Wands. Yeah. So we're talking about confidence here. The ability to uh, um, triumph over a situation or to move past some kind of difficulty, some type of perhaps inner turmoil or something that someone is dealing with. And I feel like it's an inner turmoil of some sort here with this card and this card here because these cards draw our attention. So there may have been a communication breakdown or someone's having difficulty about trying to figure out how they are going to communicate something. The important thing is to go ahead and release this burden and to trust that this situation is abundant and it's something that um, is a positive. We're talking about a very fertile situation here with the Empress card underneath. Um, we're talking about a situation that is uh, has a high likelihood of producing a positive result and some type of growth opportunity here. So it's a matter of facing a situation head on and not running from something and trying to find um, harmony and a meeting of minds or some type of like mindedness. But definitely coming out of this space of being in, on, on a pause of some sort or some type of lack of communication or some type of communication that is needing to be had but is beneath the surface and could possibly be stewing. So if this reading is your reading, then what you want to do is make sure that all the conversations around sensitive subjects are had so that everybody can make a decision moving forward and this thing can manifest into what it is supposed to manifest, whatever fears that you may are, that whatever the fears are that you may be having, you want to um, deal with those things and bring them into the light. So hopefully this resonated with whoever this reading is for, whoever this daily inspiration is for. I'm wishing all of you the best. I'm sending lots and lots of love to you. Again, if you haven't purchased my book, Manifesting Your Masterpiece, go on Amazon, get that book, and don't forget to leave a review. I'll talk to you in my next video. Sending you lots of love. dot com today. If you're looking for natural hair and skin care products made with my own hands, go to IamMelaninMagic.com. If you are not using Melanin Magic hair oil, then what are you using? Hi, I'm the creator of the I Am Melanin Magic skin and hair care brand. The I Am Melanin Magic hair oil is our premier product. It is the leading high-end supplement for your mane. It reduces breakage and promotes growth and can be used on all hair types and looks, from straightened hair and micro locks to wigs and protective styles. It's antifungal, antibacterial, and it's antifung, so you know you're protected. It softens and conditions your hair, and it's anti-frizz too. Hey guys, so I started using this oil called I Am Melanin Magic since February of this year, and check out the new growth. Like, it's insane. Not only did it help with my new growth, but it smells amazing too. See the dramatic improvements Denisha has made after not having hair around her edges for three years. Tanya's hair had been like this for almost 20 years and while getting injections. Her doctor said it was scarred and would never grow back. After four weeks of using I Am Melanin Magic, 
this is what she looked like. I am Melanin Magic did this to Danette's hair after a short time. This is really all your hair needs. It's rich with antioxidants, loaded with growth promoting ingredients. Look at the growth of my hair. It's amazing. The product speaks for itself. Order yours today and don't delay. Don't delay, purchase yours today. I am Melanin Magic and so are you.